10 secret societies that run the world. 10. Skulls and Bones. Our first secret society was formed in 1832 at Yale University in America. It all came into play in a building commonly referred to as the tomb and was the backlash to an argument between a number of debate teams at the university. It's said that William Taft, George Bush, and John Kerry were all members at some point. The members of the society are called Bonesmen, and they're known for abusing their power to climb the social ladders of the elite of America. The Skulls and Bones Society has been blamed for all sorts of things, such as the assassination of JFK and the nuclear bomb. 9. The Hawaiian League In the early 1800s, the Kingdom of Hawaii was formed. It managed independence for less than a century before it joined America, its downfall brought about by the Hawaiian League. This society was formed by 200 rich European and American men who were not happy with King Kalakua, claiming he was extravagant. In fact, they were concerned at their lack of power over Hawaii. Lauren A. Thurston wrote a constitution in 1887 which formed the basis of the Hawaiian League. There are no surviving copies of that document. In under 12 months, the society had attracted 405 members, but it was not a harmonious group, as they could not agree on what they wanted. Some of the members sought to join America, while others hoped for an independent republic. They did all agree that they wanted to get rid of Queen Lilio Kulani, who had become the monarch two years previously. The Hawaiian League made friends with the Honolulu Rifles, a paramilitary group who aided them to overthrow the queen in 1893. Hawaii became a republic for the next five years, after which it was made a territory of the United States. And Eleven years later, in 1959, it was named as the 50th state. 8. The Carbonari When Napoleon was defeated in 1814, Europe's borders were moved to accommodate for the territory which he had been a ruler of. A meeting between the UK, Austria, Russia, and Prussia was called at the Congress of Vienna to decide how it would work. Italy had been conquered by Napoleon in 1805 and so was divided up at the Congress, with Austria being given an area of the north and the remaining area being divided into small states. It was during this time of instability that the Carbonari was formed. However, where they came from remains unknown, as the society is as secret as they come. It's believed that they may have originated in France. The Carbonari are very much like the Freemasons in that they take part in detailed and top-secret initiations and use symbols to uphold the secrecy of their activities. The hierarchy is similar too. The Carbonari has around 60,000 members and, when formed, was the largest secret society in the country. There were a number at the time. The Carbonari can be credited with starting off the revolution in 1820, which resulted in bringing Italy together. The kingdom of the two Sicilies, Naples and Sicily, was ruled by King Ferdinand, and the Carbonari's revolution succeeded in ensuring Ferdinand relinquished his power. A constitution was then formed. Austria wasn't impressed and went to Naples to tear it up, but this angered the Italian people who revolted. Unity was won in 1861. 7. Ashoka's Nine Unknown Men Next we have one of the oldest societies, thought to have been started in 270 BC. Ashoka's Nine Unknown Men is the only known secret society in India and is thought to be the world's most powerful group. It was founded by King Ashoka of the Maurya dynasty who wanted to contain everything in the world and so started a secret society to do just that. Nine different men were chosen and each was given a specialist topic. Their task then was to develop and preserve information about their topic and prevent anyone from finding it out and using it for bad. The nine specialisms became nine books, which some people believe are still in existence and still being updated. The topics in the books are as follows. The first contains information about psychological warfare and propaganda, highly dangerous material should it fall into the wrong hands. It basically informs about how huge numbers of people can be influenced and effectively brainwashed. The next book is all about physiology, explaining human weakness and detailing how to kill with a single touch. The third is all about microbiology and biotechnology. The fourth book is about alchemy and the transmutation of metals. The fifth book deals with extraterrestrial communication, and the sixth book is concerned with the building of UFOs. 
The seventh book reveals information about cosmology and time travel, and the eighth one informs how the speed of light can be used to human advantage. The last book concerns itself with sociology, discussing human and societal evolution. It's thought that if these books are used for good, then they could change the world. But if they're used for evil, then it would lead to our downfall. King Ashoka was so worried that people couldn't be trusted with the information that he kept his society and his books very close to his chest. 6. The Bilderberg Group Next up, we have an elite group which hosts an annual gathering of around 150 of the world's most influential people. Think business, academia, media, and finance, as well as country leaders such as prime ministers and presidents. The Bilderberg Group was set up in 1954 in order to bring together these important people as one. The club is run by a group of representatives from 18 different countries, primarily from Europe and America, with each nation putting forth two people. Meetings are highly secretive and so have attracted negative theories about what goes on and what's influenced by them. There are claims that the Bilderberg Group was behind the Great Depression as well as many of the worst terrorist acts. Due to the influence of the people involved and the lack of transparency, the Bilderberg Group is one of the most dangerous groups in the world. 5. The German Tool Society It is commonly thought that the Tool Society, founded in Munich in 1919, paved the way for Nazism, with certain important members of the Nazi party also members of the Tool Society. In fact, Adolf Hitler himself was seen as a visiting brother of the society. This, quite honestly, brutal society preached about the New World Order, and they believed the most efficient way of bringing about that order would be to eliminate whole groups of people in order to bring the population down. They practiced magic, black and sexual, and performed racist chants as well as holding supernatural exhibitions involving demons who they sought guidance from. One conspiracy theory to evolve about the Tool Society is that Hitler was treated for his sexual impotency with a demonic ritual, and it was this that turned him into the terrible dictator he proved to be. 4. Freemasons Here we have the infamous Freemasons, a super, super secret society based on brotherly relationships and taking the moral high ground. This benevolent group works to better the common man. It's not sympathetic to any religion, and it's thought that the Freemasons have a bit too much to do with world politics. In order to become a Freemason, you must ask a member belonging to a lodge closest to where you live. From there on out, you will be an associate until they deem you ready to join their group. 3. Sons of Liberty Next up, we have the Sons of Liberty, a society set up in 1765 as a backlash to the Stamp Act among other programs set up by Parliament to earn money. The society began with local shopkeepers and tradesmen and was super secret. It played an important part in America gaining its independence from the UK. 2. The Fenian Brotherhood Our next secret society was begun in America in 1858 by John O'Mahony and Michael Doheny. Made up of American and Irish revolutionaries, the ideology behind the Fenian Brotherhood was to thwart the British dominance in Ireland. The society's name comes from Fianna, a renowned group of Irish warriors. They were most known for their propaganda regarding social justice. 1. Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn Last up, we have a society that's said to be as occult as it's possible to be. The Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn was formed from a branch of the Freemasons and hails Aleister Crowley and William Yeats as its members. Its ideas are steeped in mysticism and all kinds of magic. The Golden Dawn system was based on hierarchy and initiation like the Masonic Lodges. However, women were admitted on an equal basis with men. The Golden Dawn was the first of three orders, although all three are often collectively referred to as the Golden Dawn. The first order taught esoteric philosophy based on the Hermetic Kabbalah and personal development through study and awareness of the four classical elements, as well as the basics of astrology, tarot divination, and geomancy. The second or inner order, the Rosé, Rubier, et Aurier Crucius, the Ruby Rose and Cross of Gold, taught magic, including scrying, astral travel, and alchemy. The third order was that of the secret chiefs, who were said to be highly skilled. They supposedly directed the activities of the lower two orders by spirit communication with the chiefs of the second order. Don't forget to like us 